Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Galakam Update Great Quantum Transition from Lev On November 26, 2021 at 10.01 a.m. CET The following information has been received from the Galactic Committee the protective blue dome was removed from the earth. Now in its place, in the background of emerald green energy, there is a wave channel of the light yellow power field. Two quantum fluxes filled with bright green spectrum energy are connected to the channel. In the channel and outputs are installed the light lilac energy filters and two magnetic fields. This system sorts out energy and matter that is directed into the sixth dimension and space-time where the 5D is formed. Why did Galacom remove the protective dome over the planet? It's no longer needed. Now a new stage has begun at which such defense will be an obstacle. The pumping out from the planet of old programs, codes, as well as all the dirt that drags earthlings back to the dark times will intensify. Without a dome, the flow of powerful quantum waves will significantly increase. It would force the remaining demonic entities and energies out from hiding places and humans. Under the dome, many darks hid in earthlings, driving them to hysteria and despair by skillfully planted fear of the pandemic. The vibrations of the cleansing streams will be raised carefully so as not to harm people and to make the dark parasites leave earth in masses. These energies will clean up everything inside and will not allow intruders to enter anew. Three days earlier on November 23, 2021, at 9.08 p.m. CET, the Galactic Committee conveyed the following summary of the general situation on the planet. November began the sowing season. December continues the harvest. At the same time, new is sown on the planet and everything old is removed. New energies are directed to earth that squeezes out of it and the earthlings everything obsolete and disinfect the vessels through which the life of the planet flowed. The present world is coming to its end. All people go through a transformation. Some come to another dimension to reboot their gain strength and return to Earth again. The time between incarnations has been reduced to a minimum so that people can close their karmic debts while the corridor of merciful transition to the new world is open. New dipole programs and codes completely free of destructive and parasitic components are loaded into the consciousness and subconsciousness of Earthlings. Active work with the old 3D energy grid continues it is carried out in stages. Once the negativity is removed from its cells, they are disinfected and then filled with the new 5D energy. While the entire network is being transformed, each cell is tightly isolated from the others so that contagious energies do not spread again. This is how the 3D Merkaba is reset by a small cellular thread. It is still alive but severely weakened. At the same time, all its former and diseased connections are blocked. Without it, the 3D grid cannot be removed. It must be gradually but completely zeroed out, thoroughly disinfected, so that all its negativity never returns to Earthlings again. After completion of all scheduled works, the old 3D lattice will self-liquidate. Immediately, the new 5D grid will automatically switch on at full power. It will activate additional codes by which constructive, purified forces will enter the earth. Those who will live on the new planet, backed by the absolute light crystalline frame, will build the 5D world. The others will be dispersed to different energy apartments in the upper and lower dimensions according to the vibrational pattern and scenario which everyone has created himself. The earth's logos has been loaded with new programs. They have already been delivered to Akashic Records for putting them into practice on the physical level. Detailed plans and energies and blueprints are being made. 
There are enough co-creators, helpers, and curators. Many friendly cosmic races want to implement their skills and knowledge on Earth, which is acquiring new energy shells. We will build a new planet, but first, we will help to heal it from the aggressive and destructive energy that leads to war. On behalf of the Karmic Committee, Guan Yin, enhanced by male foundation, actively influences the masculine energies that negative forces have forcefully planted in mankind. Co-creators send a signal to humanity for transformation. Together with all the light forces, they will level the aggressive male energies in whatever form they may be. There will be no indulgence for anyone. Work is being done with both causes and consequences. Everyone from Pleroma to the three-dimensional Earth participates in it. Each takes its share for transformation that is feasible at this moment, so that together they can eliminate belligerence and intransigence on the planet. On Earth, masculine aggressiveness began to infect the female creative power. Female energies are becoming similar to male ones, implacable and destructive rather than soft, flowing, life-giving. Therefore, literally, everyone started to transform and heal, and not those who wanted to. How long this hard work will last will depend on the results. It is conducted for the first time in the local universe. Co-creators will be very attentive, and in case of any inconsistencies, they will quickly intervene. The main problem remains the same. It is very difficult to reach people's consciousness. It is shrouded in a dense fog of negativity, resisting healing. Humans have accumulated it on Earth in huge amounts. Its neutralization is one of the most important tasks now being addressed on different levels of the subtle and physical planes. Exclusive and filigree is the Karma Lord's assistance in purifying the world human tree. All men's souls are now being tested for their strength, capacity for mercy, and cleansing. They are covered with a dense plaque of rigidity. Many women and men have become hard-hearted when the dark energies reigned over Earth. It is not surprising. Destructive powers have bristled and are pressing down on everyone. Many can't withstand the pressure of maddened, negative forces, which out of despair go ahead. Not even death can stop them. Win or bust, that is their motto, and use earthlings as hostages. Therefore, co-creators and higher light hierarchy focus on lowering the heat of aggression that kills souls. Karmic retaliation in the old 3D matrix stopped working, stagnating in spaces, timelines that are intertwined with parallel energies. In the transition period, there are not always enough resources for quick retribution for deeds. Co-creators have to straighten, stitch, and separate linear space-time before launching its new multiverse version. The energies and timing of intentions are freely moving in it. The payoff will follow immediately. This is what co-creators are preparing Earth for. After its full healing and transformation, all that will be implemented. Now every work of the light forces reduces the previous scheduled deadlines. Namaste.